This week on Chica.com, we're doing everything to do with my favorite color, which is Kelly Green. Now, I've got an arrangement of uh, different flowers and foliage here, which isn't green, but it's a color that also looks really fabulous all together. So I thought I would talk about how you can bring into your home and into your table decor some beautiful bits and pieces that aren't necessarily what you would expect to do as a table center. Kale is one of those things that I'm obsessed with, and you can actually buy kale that is for flower arranging. There is this variety, which I just I love the green and the purple. And then there is also, oops, this type as well. So we're gonna use those as our starting point for the arrangement. I have a big vase. Now sometimes you can do it, I like to do things in clusters. I'm not gonna actually break up these groups. If you feel you need to keep your arrangement together, keep the elastic band on it and take it up a little bit further. And then you know that your um, arrangement isn't gonna go skewy. Chop off the base. And we've got our first cluster. This is sort of one of those things that will move around a little bit and um, kind of take on its own life. Ah. So there is our starting point. Now the other thing I wanted to use in here is artichokes. Not just great to eat, but also look really beautiful with flowers. So again, I'm gonna keep them tight in a cluster of three, because I think if you break them up, you actually don't get such a strong look and such a strong feel. So if you can look around here at the colors, it's kind of all balancing out quite beautifully. But I do like flowers. And at the moment, Helleborus is absolutely beautiful. And this color is just stunning. Now the little trick with Helleborus is when you chop them, to put a match towards the end of them to actually stop the sap from coming out because that's what can make them wilt and sort of droop very quickly. I'm not gonna do that now, but it's one of those things that are very easy to do. I want to keep this as a little cluster, but because this is not exactly a perfect bunch, I'm going to individually pop them in, but keep them all together. Now this sort of arrangement also looks beautiful in a wicker basket or, you know, in a terracotta pot or whatever the theme is of what your um, room is, but keeping it like this and making it look a bit more rustic is also beautiful. Now we have our four components in there. I think it's looking really beautiful, but there are a few little gaps. So what I'm gonna do is use this beautiful mint. I could use the rosemary, but I'm gonna use the mint because it is all about Kelly Green, and I want to um, make that look a little bit brighter and lighter. So I'm just gonna take this bunch. Now, I actually bought these at the florist. You can, of course, get these at the market, um, but when you do get them from the florist, they always clean up the stems, which sort of makes that a little bit easier. And I'm gonna fill in gaps. So I'm going to do a nice big chunk right here, sort of twist that up there. I'm also going to do another one over here just to balance it all out. This is one of those things you sort of have to um, keep turning and looking at to make sure that it's where you want it all to be and make sure that you uh, haven't forgotten anything and that it's all pretty even and consistent. But there you go. That is my Sunday lunch table arrangement. What do you think?